okay now let's raise a few points on ethical considerations while taking history or while planning a patient now this uh, ethical consideration or medical ethics by itself is it's a broad course but for now we will narrow our attention on ethical considerations that we need to know while taking history one thing that we should know is the cornerstone for patient doctor relationship is developing trust if this bridge is broken then it's difficult to manage the patient always what's expected from the physician is to build that doctor patient relationship through developing trust so how can we gain trust we gain trust one one by informing the patient about his illness because the patient has the right to know about his medical history the second thing is always we need to consult the patient before we decide on his investigation we decide on the treatment course so patient always should be consulted on decision making the third one is the patient has the right to know about the outcome of the treatment so always we need to inform him the details or the possible outcomes of the treatment the last thing to develop trust is we need to keep the confidentiality of the patient so if we do these things we can build or we can gain the trust from the patient so if we know this thing then medical ethics or knowing those ethical considerations will help us to keep that doctor patient relationship so what are the principles of uh, principles of medical ethics one of the principles is autonomy autonomy means the patient has the right to decide on his medical destiny this is the patient has the right to give or not to give a consent so it's based on the patient consent that we can proceed with the next steps of patient management but there are conditions in which patient autonomy might be breached for example in case of children uh, in case of mentally disordered people uh, in case of uh, people in ICU so in this scenario the patient may give assent not consent but assent to the attendant or to the family members or to the legal or lawful guardians so these are the conditions where autonomy of the patient can be in doubt otherwise always the patient has the right to decide on his uh, medical history under autonomy the most important concept is consent consent is very important thing always the consent should be informed consent consent which means the patient should have adequate information before giving any consent and it should also be based on the patient's uh, uh, willingness that we can manage or that we should proceed with is there interventions we should um, or is there teaching or research when we do all these things on human being subjects we need to get those uh, we need to get the consent of the patient so this consent can be verbal consent or written consent in case of like history taking or doing physical examination or doing simple procedures we may simply take verbal consent but in case of uh, serious procedures involving uh, complicated surgeries or different procedures like for example colonoscopy before doing those procedures you need to have informed written consent the patient should be informed about uh, the possible information or the treatment options then the intervention the complication of the treatment the complication of the anesthesia and the possible outcome so once he gets these informations then he can give us or he can sign then there are legal requirements for uh, taking consent one is the patient should be legally and mentally capable of giving consent or the patient should be legally and mentally competent to give consent 
the second one is the patient should be well informed so that it should be based on that information he will provide or he will give his consent the last uh, legal condition that should be considered is consent should be given voluntarily so it should not be with duress or enforcing the uh, patient to give consent so this condition should be fulfilled to gain uh, consent the second thing is confidentiality yeah, confidentiality of the patient information always should be kept as a, a medical student uh, after you clerk a patient try to write your history using a notebook don't use a piece of paper because if you use that piece of paper you may throw it somewhere and someone may read it and if you were in the shoes of the patient you may get unhappy because you are providing the patient information to a third person so uh, the confidentiality of the patient always should be kept there are functions where confidentiality can be breached especially functions related with criminal and civil laws and there are also what we call it overriding of social duty um, like for example ep epileptic patients should not be allowed to drive car in this scenario we may breach the confidentiality of the patient and the other thing is there are some reporting mechanisms in public uh, health concerning this like tuberculosis might be reported to other bodies so these are some of the conditions where the confidentiality of the patient is breached so these are the two basic principles that we need to know while clerking patient autonomy of the patient and confidentiality of the patient if you are interested uh, to know the details or to know to have additional knowledge on medical ethics medical ethics like concerning about organ donation medical ethics concerning about resuscitation medical ethics uh, concerning about different uh, procedures then you may read additional books you may read like the Geneva declarations almost which is this declaration restates the Hippocratic cause you may also read on international court for medical ethics you may also read the Helsinki declaration which was in 1975 and major rates concerned with using of human beings as human being subjects as uh, for research purpose so you may get all these additional information but for now for this for the, for the scope of our discussion this is the basic thing that you need to know when you clerk a patient autonomy of the patient confidentiality of the patient so based on these two things you will establish the doctor patient relationship which is developing